and welcome back to the channel. On this video, as you just saw, I'm stopping at stop signs. So let's talk about stop signs. This topic comes up so much that I thought it was worth doing another video on to talk about it because we always get new viewers that are watching for the first time and saying, hey, you're not stopping at stop signs. So, first of all, I'm in the state of Oregon, as you can probably tell by the name of the channel, Oregon E-Biker Mark. And in the state of Oregon, we have the laws of 2020 where cyclists, bicycles, which includes electric bicycles, can treat stop signs as yield signs. So if you slow down and don't see anyone coming, you can go right on through. But for this video, I'm going to stop just to show you that I stop too. I mean, you're not, obviously you're not going to go through a stop sign if somebody's coming. Why would you do that? Why would you want to harm yourself? And for a stretch there, when I was getting this before, I started to just go ahead and completely stop at all stop signs. Even though you don't have to. And it's kind of silly in a way because it's pretty obvious that nobody's coming, so, uh, mo you know, almost every time, that, for sure every time that I go through. But um, I stop anyway just for the fact to show that, hey, I can stop. It's not a big deal, but just that the, um, the times that I do go on through, there's no real need to stop. There's nobody coming. I can see that. On the camera, it doesn't pick it up as well. The peripheral doesn't show it the same, so you can't really tell. But uh, believe me, <laughs> I know it's okay to go, otherwise I wouldn't go through. And you only do it on stop signs. It does not apply to uh, traffic lights. Those ones you must stop. But uh, there's another thing about those. And with stop signs, the pro or with uh, stop lights, traffic lights, the bikes don't get recognized. And so if there's nobody around at all, I've done this a few times, um, you just have to go through. After you sit there for a minute or two and it's not changing, if there's nobody, absolutely nobody around, I don't think there's any harm in going. Otherwise, you're never going to get to uh, go. So anyway, on uh, this video, I thought I would just go ahead and show you that, yeah, I can stop at all the stop signs. Wow, look at the leaves changing color. We're into October now. So no big surprise, I guess, there. But there seems to me like it's happening earlier this year, the foliage and all. But, but you know, a funny thing about stopping is a lot of cars I don't see them come to a stop a complete stop they do the old rolling stop so people get on bikes you know especially e-bikers they it almost seems like they have to have something to say to an e-biker because I don't know if it's just that there's so much hatred toward e-bikes but I don't really know why um, you know but uh, cars they do it all the time and yet I think some of the ones that are complaining about not stopping at the stop sign don't own a bike but own or drive a car and they probably are doing they're the ones doing that very thing but yet, because you're on an e-bike, let's come after you. I don't know, like I say, why so much hatred toward electric bikes? 
Just like when any of these laws come up. Oh yeah, let's, we can't have this or we can't have that. Those e-bikes are dangerous. They can't be, you know, like it's always the e-bikes. The regular cyclists can do no wrong. Um, let me tell you, I've seen lots of things going on with regular cyclists that is a lot worse than the e-bikers are doing. I think what happens is e-bikes get a reputation from the few, I'm saying few in comparison to the thousands and thousands of people that own e-bikes that, that ride them proper. Um, it's the ones that don't ride properly. They don't, they want to ride kind of an elect reckless way, right? Whether it be weaving in and out of traffic, wheelies, or what have you. So I think that is what's giving the electric bikes uh, the bad reputation is those folks. But hey, let me know in the comments if you have any opinions on this. And and are you, if you're an e-biker and ride, or a, a regular cyclist, do you stop at every stop sign? Completely stop. Or do you do rolling stops? This is a really nice time of year as I hear my tires popping a few times. Oop. <laughs> I'm running over some kind of a, a nut. But um, yeah, this is a nice time of year. I like it. I just don't like the rain. I, you know, I don't like it to be raining in the fall. I like to just do a nice dry ride like this. Temperature today is low 70s. I mean, you can't beat this. It's perfect, perfect bike weather. But the, the downside about this is look at the leaves. Somebody's got to clean those up. The foliage is really cool to see. And I'm going to try to do some uh, rides and get some good views of foliage uh, this fall here. But um, it doesn't last long. It seems like you might have like a two or three week window where you can look at that and then uh, after that the leaves are gone they're down because generally in the fall you get more rain right at least in our area more rain and you get more wind so the leaves get weighed down with the uh, wet and then they get blown off with the uh, wind you can see it like this tree right in front here look at the red on the top of it already. Oh, look at that. A couple of snowmobiles right there. Ski doos. It's been a lot of years since I've ridden a snowmobile. When I say a lot, I'd say uh, more than 45. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's been a while. So this is a nice easy ride today and here's my nemesis again. I don't like that but I've spoken about that before so I won't say anything this time. But yeah this is a nice easy conservative good ride. I'm not speeding. I'm not blowing through a stop sign as some people might say even though eight miles an hour or six miles an hour is not really blowing through a stop sign i'd say it's easing through a stop sign 
pretty good wind up here as you can see the leaves blowing around and I can feel it wanting to move me around a little bit on the bike this graffiti uh, weight on the bike even with the dual battery is about 80 pounds so when the graffiti x arrives it's going to have a gotta dodge that branch there it's, it's going to have a uh, 40 pound uh, 40 pounds of extra weight compared to this it's about 120 pounds so quite a bit of difference just gonna wait here a moment and let this car go by because I want to turn left right here Alright, so that's what I wanted to talk about. Yield. In Oregon, the stop signs for cyclists can be uh, treated as a yield sign and that law went into effect back in 2020, so we're talking four years ago. So if you're wondering, if you see anybody in Oregon, or myself, not completely stopping, it's because we don't have to. If we go by the law, which everybody wants um, to do, you know, then we're perfectly fine. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video on this beautiful blue sky day here. As I stop one more time. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. Just hit that subscribe button. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, maybe you have opinions on stopping at stop signs or uh, let me know whether you actually do it or not. Um, assuming no traffic's coming, do you just uh, slow down and proceed, or do you come to a complete stop every time? Let me know in the comments below. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video, and let's stop one more time. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.